The GAN 356RS is GAN's newest budget 3x3. It is a modern rework of the GAN 356S and an upgrade to the GAN 356R. It has a unique feature. The performance is on par with other GAN flagships, but the price tag is really reasonable. So, what is GAN up to with the newly released budget cube, the GAN RS? Let's find out in this review. I have been using this cube a lot since the day I received it. It explicitly performs really amazing. This cube can be purchased for approximately 13 US dollars for its non-magnetic variant and 29 US dollars for its magnetic one, which roughly translates to around 975 INR and 2175 INR respectively at RL Cube Shop, obviously using my discount code IKCubing at checkout. This cube has a really nice buttery smooth feeling. It flows very easily with almost little to no resistance. It is also a pretty lightweight cube, which makes solving on it a joy for longer practice sessions. I've got many solves close to my average time as well, which clearly proves that this cube has some great potential. I found the cube to be a little fast for my liking, so I decided to add some weight 5 on the pieces to slow it down ever so slightly. Now let us take a look at the unique spring compression system that the GAN RS has to offer. It has two different settings, 0.6 and 0.8, being the tightest and loosest respectively. There is one more setting which allows you to remove the spring itself. All you need to do is twist the knob clockwise or counterclockwise with your fingers depending on the setting you like. Now here is one flaw in the performance of this cube. As I said, it is a really nice cube, but to be honest, it doesn't feel the most stable cube out there. Even on the 0.6 setting, the cube feels just ever so slightly flimsy that a person who loves flexible cubes might not even notice it. Now, don't get me wrong, this cube holds up its shape very well and maybe just one more setting like 0.5 would do the job. Since I'm a more stable cube lover, I do notice the slight flexing around of the cube every now and then. But it doesn't really bother me much until I turn very calmly. So should you buy this cube? Yes, definitely, if you prefer flexible cubes. I still enjoy solving on this cube, despite it being this flexible, because all the other features of this cube easily compensate for this drawback. Apart from that, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't purchase such an amazing cube. Huge thanks to RL Cube Shop for sending me this cube out for review. If you wanna add some amazing puzzles to your cubing collection, make sure to check out the sponsor for this video, RL Cube Shop, who have a wide range of cubes and offer really competitive prizes on all the puzzles. And you can also save some more money by using my discount code IKCubing at checkout, which will give you 20% off your orders over there. I hope you all really liked this review, and if you did, please show your support by leaving a like on this video, comment, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, as all of that really motivates me. Take care of yourselves guys and have an amazing time ahead.